to another video and I'm today again joined with my dad and we're going to be doing the Premier League predictions week six? Week seven. Week seven, Jesus that's gone quick but yeah some interesting fixtures and there's a Friday night game, the game's gone all the way until Monday night so let's get on with it. First up we have the uh, Friday night game and it's quite an interesting one, two teams who lack goals and it is a uh, Wolverhampton taken on Crystal Palace. What are you thinking? Uh, close, tight game. Palace obviously won't um, do much attacking, just digging in. It's whether Wolves can get an early goal or not to open the game up. But I think they, they don't score many goals themselves. So um, I think Jimenez might make the difference and head one in. Uh, so just uh, one nil to Wolves. One nil Wolves. Yeah. Well, we saw last week out Wolves actually struggled against Newcastle. They obviously got caught with that late free kick from Murphy. But yeah, I think Wolves going to get back to winning ways. Palace, even though they started well, they just lack a bit going forward, and don't think Batshuayi's really done much. But yeah, Wolves to me. I'm going to go two nil Wolves. Our next game is the early kick off on the Saturday, and it's actually Sheffield United taking on Man City. Man City obviously got a really good win in Marseille in the week, and uh, Sheffield United just lack goals, and they're not they're not really doing much this season. They they could be a relegation candidate. What are you thinking? Yeah, Sheffield United have done, done very well at all. I think teams have worked them out in the way they play their system, and they're um, struggling to create chances. And they've got plenty of strikers, but none that can actually score a goal. So I mm -hmm. don't think they're going to score in this game. Man City will dominate from start to finish, keep the ball as they do, and um, a comfortable 2 0 Man City win and months. a banker. Banker, well, um, yeah, I'm not going to go banker, but I agree Man City will win this game. I just think their class will see Kevin De Bruyne coming back is going to make a big difference. And you've got to credit to Sheffield United last weekend. They could have got something at Anfield, but they obviously didn't. And it's a results business, isn't it? So I'm going to go 2 1 Man City, but I don't think it'd be comfortable as you think. Uh, there's one 3 o'clock game on Saturday, and I miss 3 o'clock games. I don't know about you. They had something yeah. different, didn't they? And um, yeah, bring some normality hopefully back when they, we can go back and hopefully there'd be 3 o'clock games again. But yeah, take on Burnley and. Um, Wow, it's just typical Chelsea, really, isn't it? Burnley haven't won all season. They lack goals. They could have got something against Spurs, but they didn't. But I just hope we get the three points and get out of this place because it's a dodgy one. Yeah, tough game. Burnley, never easy to play against. Um, hoping that, that our um, defence will stand up to their long ball game. And yeah. uh, But we've got Mendy in goal now, and he looks really good. He come, yes. he come and collect the crosses. Thiago Silva reads the game really well, so hopefully, and then big old Kurt Zuma will be heading everything away, hopefully. Yeah, fingers crossed. Um, and then we've got enough going forward always to score goals, so I think we will just about manage to win this game. It's going to be a tight game, but I think we'll just come out on top uh, two goals to one. Yeah, the big thing for me over the last couple of games has been the fact three clean sheets and a bounce, we were saying, like, when was the last time you've ever done that? I can't even remember. I don't think we've actually done that since Kepa came in, but obviously we know Mendy's made a big difference. He got us a point last week and obviously a good performance in the week. But yeah, I think we're going to go 3 0. I'm going to go 3 0. I think we can get out of Burnley's defence and cause havoc like we did last year when in there 4 2. But yeah, let's just hope we get the three points. I don't care about the result as long as we just get the three points. But yeah, let's move on. Now, could this be the shock of the weekend? Some people think it could be, but I don't. Liverpool. Taking on West Ham in really good form, getting a point last week at against Man City, but don't think they're going to get a point this week. What are you thinking? No, I don't think they'll get anything out of this game. Liverpool um, at home will be too strong for West Ham, but um, with their injuries at the back, uh, yeah. give West Ham more of a chance of a goal. So I think they will score, but um, Liverpool will probably. No doubt get a, a late penalty from Salah <laughs> and um, probably win the game two goals to one. Two goals to one, yeah. That's a reminder, fantasy football uh, deadline tonight. Um, my captain for this weekend is going to be Mane. I think I read a stat that he got four goals in his last four appearances against West Ham. So, yeah, I'm going to captain Mane. Let me know you're going to captain. But, yeah, I, I think I'm going to go bank to Liverpool. I just think their attack's going to be too strong for a bit of a shamble. Defence on the uh, West Ham. So, yeah, 3-0 Liverpool for me. 
Bank First off. game on the Sunday, and it's the early one. It's Villa taking on a very decent Southampton team, as we found out a couple of match days ago. What do you think on this one? Two really improved sides um, who uh, both score goals. and uh, But this one here, I think, um, will be very, very even, very, very tight. And Danny Ings to score and Grealish to score and I was going to do a 2-2 two -two, but I think I'm going to go for a 1-1. One 1-1 -one. One -one, yeah well that's copying me because I, I think 1-1 one -one, I just think they're going to match each other out. I think both teams be happy with a point certainly like more for Southampton as they are the away team and Villa they need to get a result after losing at Leeds 3-0 last time out and just like make sure they're not going to go on a decline after a really, well, an amazing start to the season. But yeah, one all from both of us. Right, on Sunday, you've got another game and it's going to be Newcastle taking on Everton. And um, yeah, Everton last time out got absolutely humiliated down at South Coast against Southampton, but I think they're going to bounce back and do something against yeah, Newcastle. I think they will as well. I think they'll um, have to bounce back after that poor performance at Southampton. And uh, Newcastle, never an easy place to go. They don't come out very well, you know, defend and dig in. So it's going to be hard to break them down, but I think Everton, with their quality going forward, will break them down and edge this game uh, by two goals to one. Two goals to one, yeah. I'm thinking similar. It could easily be a draw. I might do a chain. No, I'm going to go two one as well. Ever, and I just think, especially if Hammers plays, even though he's a major doubt, but I think he's going to play like actually he played down last week. But yeah, I think Everton might just nick this one. Two goals to one as well. And um, Newcastle, they will they come out? If they come out, they could cause Everton havoc. And yeah, you could see a Newcastle win. But no, I'm going to go Everton just about. So the big game of the weekend, there's always one big game, isn't there? And it's Man United taking on a relatively poor Arsenal team. And um, yeah, I think Man United just, I don't know about you. but a difficult game to predict because um, Man United find it very hard to break down teams. They sit back just like they did against Chelsea last week. Yeah. And Arsenal will do the same. Change, change their style with Arteta, make it harder to beat them. And um, see Arsenal scoring because Man United don't, keep very many clean sheets um, it's um, I was going to do Man United to just edge it but I think I'm going to sit on the fence and go for a 1-1 one -one draw see I think Man United is just going to edge it I think Arsenal they, everyone says about Arteta they just got they got outplayed last week against Leicester I know they had all the ball and they could have scored multiple goals but Leicester done a job on them and deserved the three points and I think Man United are going to do the same they're going to play similar to how they played against us but this week I think they'll take their chances I'm going to go Rashford with a goal I just think he's going to do it again and um, yeah Man United just for me Right, so we're moving on to the Sunday evening game and it is Spurs taking on a Brighton team I think uh, Spurs will bounce back from their midweek blip against Antwerp. Um, Harry Kane and Hunmin Song just always are combining for each other for goals. So they will score a couple here. Um, don't have a Gareth Bale to start because he's, he's been looking very short of fitness. Yeah. But they've got plenty of other options with the Mella and the Celso and... Lucas. Lucas. And yeah, they've got plenty of Bergwijn. Uh, they've yeah. got too many. So, yeah. And um, Bryson, not the best uh, travellers in the country. Um, they've got a good win at Newcastle, but I think playing Tottenham is going to be a bit different to playing Newcastle. Yeah. Well, um, I can see Tottenham winning this game um, by three goals to one. Banker? Banker, Banker yeah. 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 Um, yeah, I think, yeah, I'm agreed. I think Tottenham will win. Brighton, last week, they were poor, weren't they? Like, against West Brom. I thought, first half, they looked good, but second half, they looked... That was one of their worst performances under Potter for me. And, um, yeah, I think Tottenham will just have enough. And I'm going to go 2-0 Tottenham Banker. Even though Tottenham don't clean, clean sheets. And I can't... I, I don't think they've had a clean sheet all season, which is a poor stat for Mourinho. And I'm sure he's going to want to put right on the uh, Sunday night game. So, yeah, let's move on to Monday. So, next up, we have the battle of the two, well, two out of the three promoted sides, and it's Fulham taking on West Brom. Yeah, not the most attractive fixture of the weekend. Can't see many people paying £15 pay-per-view to watch this. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, Fulham have looked all right going forward, but they can't defend. Mm. Um, West Brom had a good result of getting a point at Brighton. We could have even had more than that. Yeah, but, um, I can see West Brom digging in here, get Fulham struggling to break them down. I was going to do 1-1, one, one, but I'm going to go for a... Uh, even worse, nil-nil draw. Nil-nil, yeah. Could it's, it's that got that sort of fixture over it, like that you just you get them fixtures, don't you? Like especially this season without any fans, like the the negative teams just they they look worse because they don't have any fans and they don't have any motivation to go forward. They're happy with a point, but yeah, I think Fulham, like you said, they look good going forward, and I think they're going to get the three points here. And um, yes, yeah, Scott Parker really needs them points. And I'm going to go 2 1 full of Mitrovic to get the winner. Every time Leeds play, and that's the last game of the uh, match day, and yeah, like I said, every time Leeds play, they look brilliant going forward. But you do question them defensively. I know they've got a clean sheet at Villa, but I think that was their first clean sheet of the season. And um, yeah, they're in for a difficult game, and Leicester have won their last couple of games. So, um, what do you reckon? Hard game to predict this one. Um, I think they're pretty very similar sides. Good going forward. Leicester is slightly more organised at the back than Leeds. Um, but then again, Leeds at home. Um, so that I, I can see Leeds getting a result. Not sure whether they'll be good enough to beat Leicester on this game. Um, I'm going to go for a 2 2 draw. 2 2 draw, yeah. I'm just going to go Leicester. I fancy Leicester. They had a really good performance at Arsenal, like I said previous, and obviously winning in Greece in the week. And um, yeah, Jamie Vardy looks good, doesn't he? He's come back and he uh, got a couple goals in the winner in Greece and obviously got the winner at Arsenal. So I'm thinking, you know, Vardy winner. 2-1 Leicester. So, um, yeah, that's the predictions done. So, um, yeah, that's the predictions done. Some big fixtures coming your way this weekend. I hope you guys look forward to the football. Make sure to do your fantasy teams. Who are you going, Captain, this week for your fantasy team? I've gone for Son. Son against, uh, against Brighton. Brighton. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Well, I'm going to go um, Mane this weekend. But, yeah, Son's not a bad shout. And, um, yeah, make sure you enjoy the football and let's hope Chelsea can do the business. And um, thank you for coming on, Dad. Come on, the Chelsea. Yeah, three points, please, Blues. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. So, yeah, match reaction for the Burnley game will be out after the game. Let's hope we're happy with the three points. And, yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, turn that notification bell on for more videos. So, yeah, thanks, Dad. And let's go. Come on, you Blues.